Geiz is on the beat. What's up, y'all? Just finished up with the practice, and it was full pads. It was great. It is Monday today, uh, and we got our first game Saturday. I'm vlogging. You want to be in the vlog? Yes, sir. First game Saturday. So if you're curious at what a locker room is like after practice, this is what it's like, okay? Let me, let me show you around. I'm in between the vlog, so QB, QB right here. Devin, where are you from? Tell me a little bit about yourself. San Diego, California. California, all the way around here. Come on, a whole lot of school. I've been all over. What are your thoughts on practice today? Practice was actually kind of light. Like, wasn't too bad. I did all right. Hey, well, all right, man. All right, my Catch you later. Boom, say what's up to the vlog. What's up, man Garrett over. It's nice to see y'all today. We got our work in today. Chris is killing it out there. <laughs> He's not on the He's phone with anybody. He is not on the phone. Verizon Wireless, I'm getting my phone fixed. You see my phone? Oh my gosh, what happened to that, man? You play uh, football with in your back pocket or yeah. something? Yeah, oh, okay. my helmet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> gotta say to the vlog, Stay man. in school and don't go to Mississippi. Oh, oh, oh snap. Oh, what did he just say? Stay as a whole. No, he said oh, okay. stay as a whole. Oh, okay. What's wrong with Mississippi? I think Mississippi is great. Know. It's like Alabama's little brother. Yeah, that's true. It's the poorest state. Hey! Hey, y'all know him, man. He's my roommate, best roommate ever. Hey, today's video is what a college locker room is like after practice. It is uh, pretty smelly. That's, yes, true, true. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, bye. All right, y'all, I gotta take my pads off. That's probably the worst part about football practice. What's up, guys? I hope you get a little idea of what the locker room is like. No one's here right now, um, but it's kind of a mess if, if you wanna show everyone kind of what it looks like in that corner over there. Okay. Now, we gotta get our act together. But I thought, now that I have you here, I can show you a little bit of you know what my locker looks like. Um, so let me give you a little tour. So boom, we got our helmet. This is a Revo Speed Flex helmet. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. And um, I love this helmet. It's super, I mean, I've never had a helmet this good before, but yeah, that's that. And got some gloves. And uh, this is a, a, a travel a travel jacket that we get. We get like a travel suit for when we uh, go to games. And they give us a girdle. And you know, we got our, our uh, practice jerseys. No, rocking the number 30. Never thought I'd be rocking this number, but you know, things change all the time. Now, right now is not a good time to do like a gear video. Like, oh, what gear do you get? Because we haven't even had an actual season yet. So this is kind of what we're working with right now, um, which is all you need, man. You, you got some pads, that's what we got right here. You got pads, jersey, helmet, you're good to go. You don't need anything else. So. Uh, And I'll go ahead and show you what's in my uh, my uh, bottom drawer here. I got two pairs of cleats. I do. I'm the big. I'm the biggest cheapskate ever. So both of these cleats were given to me by really good friends. Shout out to Ridge. He's a, a one of my good friends. He plays linebacker here. He gave me these. So shout out to him. And my roommate Will Buchanan. He gave me these. These are actually the cross cleats. I don't wear these much now because I like the other ones better. But I used to wear these all the time. And then if you want to go ahead, bring the camera over on here. You can see that's kind of, that's just like, you can see you get, there's, this is like just more here that's not important. <laughs> so hopefully I can start bringing y'all some awesome content. I'm going to really try and post more videos because I really feel like content is key, but consistency is key. And if I want this channel to grow and be something really special, I, I gotta put more work into it. I gotta post more often. Shout out to the cameraman, Sam Wilder. <laughs> I love him. Anyway, so I hope you guys get an idea of what a you know locker room is like after practice. This is what my locker looks like, and you know I, I can probably do more formal videos that just gear to certain aspects of the locker room or of what gear you get, of our the tour of our facilities, all this awesome stuff. You just gotta give me time, guys. If you enjoy learning how to be a better student athlete. Sam, what do they got to do? 
<laughs> work hard. They gotta work hard, but they gotta smash the subscribe button oh, yeah. and the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you, if you guys enjoy watching this content. And as of right now, I haven't done one in a couple videos. Y'all thought I forgot. We are gonna be doing the scripture of the day. Let me know if I'm the only one. Like if y'all if are reading the Bible, man, sometimes I, I've gotta treat it like it's game day. Like I'm like, all right, time to have my quiet time. Let's do this. You know what I mean? Like, like sometimes you just gotta bring that energy. You just gotta be pumped up, you know? Feel that Holy Spirit just like knocking down every single door. All right, what is the scripture gonna be today? All right, I came across the scripture in Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 36. The way of the cross. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? I love, I just want to focus on the first part here. It says, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I can relate that to so many things. If you're an athlete, if you want to be an athlete, you've got to dedicate the time to become a better athlete. Just like you have to dedicate the time. And here it says, take up your cross. Wow, that's amazing. Why can't I just like know all the scripture off the top of my head? Why can't I just be like a spiritual wizard, man? But it just takes time and you, it takes that daily grind and daily effort. Just like if you want to get good grades, you got to, you know, study the books and, and, and study hours on end to get good grades. If you want to be a better athlete, you got you got to put in that extra work. The same thing applies to following Jesus. You know, it's a daily grind and it's a daily struggle. It really is. And God is going to bless you, you know, al along your journey, right? Um, but man, this scripture just, it, it just really speaks volumes to me. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. And I love, I, I really do appreciate the people that have been commenting uh, what videos they want to see in the future because that really helps me out seeing what y'all want, want to watch next. So please, if you have a video, comment down below. Like, don't forget to subscribe guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Spiritually Fit Nation, I'm signing out. Peace out.